Hello, my name is Michael Kittner, the CEO and founder of 360 Heroes, and we're here to talk to you about the 360 Video File Manager workflow. We're going to go through from start to finish on moving over the camera files from each camera into your file system. We'll review the workflow patterns, errors you might run into. So to start, let's start working with the email that you received. So here is the email. <coughs> And if we look at that, here's your download, and then here's your link to the actual file. Here is the file that we're going to download. So we'll save this file. And then if we look in the downloads folder, we're going to, I like to right click over that and say open containing folder. And here's the file that we actually downloaded. So let's close these windows. And now let's open up our file manager window here. And I put all my files on an external drive here called 360 Heroes Data. And we would copy that file into this folder here. So I've already copied into my G Drive 360 video folder. Now that that is completed, the G Drive in my particular case is my storage area. So the next step what we want to do is go down and click start and run the command line. And we'll bring up the DOS command line. And we'll just open these windows up so you can kind of see a little bit what we can see. And we're going to go to the G Drive, the 360 video folder. So we're going to go to the G Drive, change directory to 360 video. I'm going to do a directory. So here we can see the 360 air folder from over here and the 360 heroes command. Now to see the command line options, we type in 360 heroes and press enter. In here you can description of how the program works. The command line options, because we're going to be looking for the GoPro drive letter of the camera, the GoPro folder number, the destination where we're going to send these camera files, and then the camera number that we're copying over. And here's an example. Here we type in the 360 heroes command. We're going to use drive F, GoPro number 100, call it 360 Vegas, and camera one. So in this particular case, what we're going to do is put in our first camera card. And the autoplay window pops up, which we really don't use this in this particular case. So we're going to close that. And here is our drive letter I. And we open it up. Here's our GoPro number and our GoPro camera file. Back to the command line features, we're going to type in 360 heroes. And it wants you to type in the drive letter of the GoPro. So the drive letter in this case is I. It now wants to know the GoPro folder number. The GoPro folder number in this case is 100. Sometimes this can be 100, it could be 101, um, it really depends. So we got to keep track of that each time and I'll show you what happens when it changes. So we'll type in 100. And then we're going to create a folder that we want to send this to. So on our G drive, Back to 360 video, I have one here called 360 Air. Um, let's create a project called 360 House. And we're now bringing in camera one. Now, when I press enter here, it's automatically going to create 360 House folder for me. And it does it in the folder that I'm sitting in when we created this. So if I open this up here and hit 360 house, here's the file that it's copying over. And we'll show details so that we can see this a little bit more. Open this up a little bit. 
And when it's finally done copying, it'll actually tell you the length of that particular video. So as it copies the GoPro file from the SD card, it renames it, puts camera one in front of it, your project, and then your camera number. Now you just want to make sure that you have no spaces in your projects. So you only want spaces between each one of the commands that are actually shown here. So let's put in the second camera. So we'll pull this one out, pop in camera two. Again, we don't need the autoplay window. And we'll bring up drive I. And we can see that we're still on drive I. This still came up GoPro 100 GoPro. And here's my file. So now over here, <clears throat> I can actually hit the up arrow on the keyboard and it'll repeat the last command. Now, if I actually hit enter here, it's going to say, wait a minute, that camera file already exists. So that immediately tells me that I didn't change the drive letter here. So do we want to do this? No. Okay. Now let's repeat this command again. So we'll up arrow and we want to change it to camera two. That's what we really wanted. And I press enter. And it's now, if I go over to my house, you can see it's now copying in camera two. The file size should be pretty close. Um, just using the GoPro remotes to turn them on and off, I find these to be within a half a frame of each other, uh, which is excellent. And as soon as the file is completed copying, notice it automatically puts in the file length, the video length. Now let's pull this out, pop in card number three, put it back into place. Let's go look at the camera to make sure we still have GoPro 100. So we're still at drive I, GoPro 100, and 360 house, but we want camera three. So we'll just up barrel, change this to camera three, and hit enter. Now we're copying camera three. So we can go back here to 360 house. You can see the file is going in for each one of them. Okay, now let's move on to camera number four. So, so we'll unplug our camera. Okay, now let's enter the next camera, which is I here. We'll close this out. Now, when I look at this, Notice now this says 101 GoPro. Remember before it said 100 GoPro? So sometimes, and I don't know why GoPro does this, but this folder number will change. So over in your file copy, we're just going to right arrow. So I'm going to right arrow to repeat the last command. We're going to change this to 101, and then right arrow the rest of the way, and change this to camera 4. Then we'll press enter. Mm. And if we go back to our house, you can see now camera four is coming in. This is part of the file management. Um, and the little tricky part about all this is getting all the files over to the system and numbered cameras one through six or seven, depending on what holder you're using, to make file management a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go to the next camera. Okay, let's pop in the next card. And we don't need to do this. And we're going to repeat and put this in camera five. Oops, it says no files copied. Oops, you forgot something. So let's take a look. We said 360 Heroes I 101 360 Heroes C5. So let's go look at drive I. And notice now this card changed back to 100. So we'll just right arrow, change this to 100, and camera 6.
and I think I made a slight mistake there because we were working on camera 5. So if I go back here and look, yep, sure enough, this should be camera 5. So this is where you got to really pay attention to make sure we got the right drug letters. Okay, so let's plug in the next card. And here's camera number 6. And we'll just repeat the last command, which was camera number six. And it's now copying in camera number six. And you'll notice that the file sizes should be very close in mine. They just happen to be right dead on. And then the file length of the actual video, which is a minute 15 seconds for each one of the cameras. Now, other things that also happen is if you've already copied camera six and you say to yourself, jeepers, did I actually do camera six? If I hit up arrow again and press enter, it'll actually say, wait a minute, camera six is already here. Do we want to overwrite that? So here we can say no, and it did not copy that file. So there also is some protection to make sure that as you go to copying in each one of these files, that it will help you get organized. So we'll back back up. You can see that we have 360 Air and also 360 House and the cameras are nice and organized so that when we get ready to drop these in to the video stitchers, they're already properly named and ready to go for us.